Musik im Bauch or Music in the Belly is a piece by Karl-Heinz Stockhausen, uh, premiered, written for and premiered by Percussion de, de Strasbourg in 1975. It's just as some of the other pieces by Stockhausen, a sort of transcription of a dream of his. And this dream was a reaction on a very specific uh, experience he had with his little daughter before this dream came back to him, where they were talking about the sounds of the belly. And Stockhausen uh, uh, mentioned them as music in the belly. And the daughter found it so amusing. And he describes this very uh, um, precisely in the preface of the score. The daughter started to laugh and could not stop laughing. As with all his dreams, he uh, says that he hurts the sounds, but more so he uh, could remember how the sounds were produced, what was going on. And uh, this is in fact also the piece that is the birth of the, of the Zodiac pieces, the Tierkreis. And I don't believe he dreamt all the pieces, but he dreamt that there were pieces representing the people uh, or the characters in the piece based on the Zodiac signs. And so he had this, he dreamt this how to do it. And so he, he started off uh, doing it and then these uh, Tierkreis pieces, of course, also became a life of their own uh, and also uh, found their way into several other pieces, like a few years later, uh, Sirius. The score of Music in the Belly is uh, quite particular because it's a mix of uh, being very precise and then slowly introducing a lot of freedom. It consists, of course, of a description of what to do, how to set the stage, how to act. Uh, but then the, uh, there's a big part which is actually made as a description of the premiere, where Stockhausen is meticulously describing what happened. It's super precise. But then also at times uh, it is oddly ambiguous or at least uh, contradictory. For example, there is uh, the score calls for a spinning top, the old fashioned ones that you pump for a long time and then it produces this, uh, this uh, chord, a uh, beautiful chord. It's, uh, it's, it calls for this, but then it says, but in case you can't find one, you can also use a tubular bell which has a whole different sound and a whole different connotation. My approach to music in the belly was to do an interpretation of what I found to be the spirit of the piece. In a way, every element uh, I approach uh, dually. So I have already in my mind two interpretations of every element. My main interest and, uh, is this fact that he dreamt the piece. And so my main concept is to see if I can recreate this dreamy uh, mood, quite dark, but you know, not uh, maybe uncanny, but not, uh, not explicitly so, no? but very dreamy, very uh, ambiguous. Um, and then my, my approach is always also to read things literally. Like if, if he says it's music in the belly, then obviously it's music in the belly. I look for elements in the piece, but also in his thinking in general, that I can somehow uh, uh, extract or add as a context or uh, uh, as an interpretation of this piece. So I would say one of, the, one of the important things is of course this idea that the, the large and the small repeats itself. It's sort of this cosmic idea. 
that the large scale and the small scale uh, are in fact the same. And so I'm working a lot with that. So a lot of elements come in smaller versions and in bigger versions and in even bigger versions. And you could say that the whole piece itself becomes one scale in the context of other introduced scales. What I'm doing is in no way a recomposition. My approach in, in this kind of work is the one of the stage director more than that of the composer. I think being a composer only gives me uh, extra tools that I can use, maybe some advantages and, and of course special interests and a certain perspective. I am from a generation of composers who have not been heavily introduced and influenced uh, by Stockhausen in the academy. It was, not, it was not a big theme. I did not have many experiences uh, at concerts. Um, and I think I have discovered Stockhausen uh, much later. And of course, even more so during a, a project like this when I've dived dived into his character and some of the material, lots of the biographical material. I think the more I have studied him, the more difficult it is to, to pinpoint one specific uh, label or description. First of all, because he moved so much during his, his life. Every time I think, okay, this, this represents uh, Stockhausen, I realize that also does, and sometimes it's not congruent. There's a certain um, yeah, uh, paradoxical, or at least ambiguity to many of the, of the things um, that you would immediately, if you learn it, say, okay, this is representing Stockhausen. And so I, f I find that the, the more I discover this ambiguity, the more interesting he becomes. 